Hello, my name is Shivani Patel, an application engineer at Go Engineer. Today we will go over how to use the Insert Part tool to assist with designing parts that reference other parts in an assembly. We'll use these three beginning pieces of a robot arm. The motor support is shaped up of the battery house here and the motor house here. The motor support must align the three cylinders and the curved edge of the battery house. It must also fit the motor house and not allow too much of a gap. While this would be difficult using dimensions, the Insert Part tool makes creating these boundaries very easy with the added bonus of automatic updating as the motor house or base change shape. Let's create the simplified motor support. Starting with a blank sheet, we begin by inserting the battery house using Insert Part in the menu bar. When prompted to place our part, it is important we place it sensibly around the origin so that our new part will be centered. Clicking OK takes us to the Move Bodies property box, where we will use familiar mates. Knowing that we want to center this part on the origin, we align the front and right planes using coincident mates. It is not necessary for a third direction to be constrained. Now the base sketch of our new part can be created, which I'm making on the top plane. We will use Convert Entities to easily create the sketch of the circular and straight edges of the battery house. We will also grab the edges of the cylindrical supports. These edges provide the overall shape of our new part, while also ensuring perfect alignment during assembly. The only downfall is, if the battery house were to undergo a major change, this first sketch would lose its references and have to be edited. So, after forming the closed contour, we exhaust the use of the battery house, and we can now delete it out of our part by going to the Solid Bodies folder and using Delete Body. Then we can finally create our first extrusion and see our new part begin to take shape. The other important piece is the motor house, which we are inserting now. The design intent of the motor house is to be centrally located on the motor support. And to simulate that, we'll use a concentric mate between the motor center and the outside edge of our new part. We'll also lock the rotational angle of the motor house using this parallel mate. Now to finish off the part, we'll create a sketch on the top plane, but this time we'll use faces for our convert entities tool instead of edges. This is a little bit faster, so with only a few edits we have our closed contour and we can move forward with deleting the motor house body. Since the motor house is made of two separate pieces, two different solid bodies must be deleted. Now a cut extrude using our second sketch creates a well for the motor house to sit in and thus completes the part. We now have a part that meets its design intent. It fits snugly around the battery house and the motor house while also referencing both within its part file. If the battery house or motor house change geometry later on in the design cycle, this part would change as well, thus preventing errors in the assembly and saving the engineer time. This has been Shivani Patel with Go Engineer, and thanks for watching our quick tips. I hope this video has helped you learn how to use the Insert Part tool and given you ideas for more robust designing.